We're keeping it short and simple this week by covering two of the basic array methods that a JS developer should know, push and pop. Each of these methods impacts the end of an array in exactly opposite ways. Push adds a new item to the end of the array, and pop removes the last item in an array while returning that item's value. Let's run through them real quick. First, we'll need an array, so let's go with this code. You'll note that we're missing the latest installment in the venerable film franchise in which Tom Cruise seems determined to actually die on set while performing his own stunts. Let's go ahead and add that in there. But, whoops, we're going to do it with a typo. Observe. Save this, clear this LF that's here for no reason, and refresh. As you can see, this added our poorly spelled string to the end of the array, as expected. We could correct that by just changing the value of that particular array index, but for the sake of showing off pop, let's just remove it, like this. Save that. Refresh. Note that, as I said above, pop returns a value. This way you could, for example, check that what you just removed from the array was what you actually meant to remove from the array. Seems handy. You can also see that the value was actually removed from our array. Okay, now let's put our actual correct title back in at the end of the array, using push again. And refresh. There we go. Our data is correct. One thing you've probably noted is that these methods mutate your data, in the sense that they change the original array rather than creating a new array, the way methods like array.map and array.filter do. We covered the latter in JS Quick Hits 2. The former we haven't actually covered yet, maybe soon. This is not inherently a problem as long as you're prepared for it, but if you prefer in general not to mutate data and instead generate new data as you make your manipulations, you can always use variable destructuring to quickly clone your array and then work on the clone like this. Save that. Refresh. And as you can see, our original movies are still all there, but our movies to edit, we're down to the first three. That's it for this week. Sometimes it's good to keep them short and simple. See you next time.